It seems like the last 18 months have been a Battlestar Galactica renaissance in the fanmaker community, and no one has been leading that charge more than Geek Candy Labs, run by Robert Bergeron, and his fleet of upscaled Battlestar Galactica fighters. What started with an upscaled Mattel Colonial Viper, and then an upscaled Mattel Cylon Raider, and then an upscaled Mattel Land Ram, has become a unique and original creation with the Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper Mark II, which is done in the same three and three quarter inch scale, but obviously it was never upscaled from an original toy because there was no original toy like this. And when I asked Robert what his philosophy was behind this toy, he told me that it was him reimagining the Viper Mark II if Mattel had made it during the original Battlestar Galactica run in the 70s. So this toy has the firing missile missile in the front, and it has some of the visual and coloring cues that the classic show might have included. Now, for those of you that love the new Battlestar Galactica series from a few years ago, you'll see the design cues and the styling cues that are built into this Mark II. It's sleeker, it's rounder, it's just a very cool looking design. It's not as blocky or hard edged as the original. On top of that, it's based on a shooting model design rather than a toy interpretation of a shooting model which makes it even more intricate and detailed than the original offering from Robert. And one of the coolest design upgrades in Robert's new Mark II is the incorporation of a magnet system rather than finicky hinges. So the canopy just kind of lifts off, the landing gears pop on and off very easily for flight mode or landing mode. I'm really impressed by the level of detail that's been put into this model, because he actually has inset detail panels on the fuselage of the ship itself. And like his original, the engine nozzles at the back are done in a completely different color plastic as well, which makes this vehicle a real showstopper on display. As I've said before, the unfortunate part about collecting Battlestar Galactica toys is the fact that Mattel didn't make many of them, and the few they did make in three and three quarter inch scale were almost dwarfed by the number of vehicles they made that were out of scale by being too small. And that is the real trip up when it comes to collecting Battlestar Galactica even now, because you only have Adama and Starbuck, the Cylon Warriors and the Daggett, and I think you have a few aliens and Baltar, and that dude in the robe who's got like the glowing head, and those are pretty rare, so that's about it. So if you want a really robust Battlestar Galactica action figure display, you're gonna have to go customize. What the Battlestar Galactica community now really needs is somebody who can do action figures to go with all of these vehicles and play sets that people are making. That's where the drought is. And I know that there's a lot of people out there in the wake of some of the videos I've done about the Geek Candy Labs vehicles who say, well, you can get plans to make vehicles like that for free, and it's real easy if you have a 3D printer. What you're not putting out there is how much money it costs the average person to get a 3D printer, and then on top of that, it takes a lot of skill and knowledge to learn how to manipulate those schematics, to learn how to make your own schematics, to learn how to get the 3D printer to print properly, to use the right materials. It's a very expensive endeavor. And I know there's a lot of 3D printing snobs out there, and they love to talk about how, well, I'd do this better, and I'd have done this this way, and this would be real easy if you did it like this, and blah, blah, blah. Put up or shut up. I'm just, I'm just being blunt, all right? Geek Candy Labs is actually making these available to people, easily. People who don't have the time, or the money, or the know-how to get their own 3D printer, and pay thousands of dollars ahead to get a free Battlestar Galactica Viper for themselves. Robert made his designs on his own. He did all of the work on his own. These plans that he's drawn up for both the Mark II and the original upscale of the Mattel version are his plans. So put up or shut up. And I don't mean make one for yourself. If you're such an expert and you know how to do this better, then get out there and start making these available to other people for purchase the way Robert has. The fans are doing the best work who are doing the best work. The ones who are sitting around talking about it, talk is cheap. It's real cheap. Especially when you're saying, ah, that's easy. I can do that for free. Yeah. Yeah, your mouth is running free too. And you all know we get what we pay for. So for those of you out there who 
are interested in these, I'll put a link in the description to Geek Candy Labs below. Robert is doing some amazing work for the Battlestar Galactica and the Buck Rogers community. And I hope that in the future, somebody will come along behind Robert and supplement this line with figures. You know, somebody who has knowledge of making action figures and can do the entire classic crew, maybe even foray into some of the more modern versions of the characters as well, for those of you who like that era of the show. But as far as the Mattel legacy is concerned, we desperately need available custom options for the lost characters from the Mattel three and three quarter inch line. And most likely given the low production runs on some of them, it'd be great to just have recreations of some of the later figures like Baltar. So that's my take on Battlestar Galactica's future. The fans are doing the best work. And when it comes to Battlestar Galactica, Geek Candy Labs is leading the way.